So what we're working on today, uh, we bought some units off eBay and some of them had bad hash boards. Now, luckily the sellers were very clear about that, so we got a pretty good deal. But what do you do when a hash board doesn't work? What do you do when it says zero ASICs found? The most common error you're gonna see out there with really no information beyond that. So today we're gonna dive into that. I had three different hash boards that had that same exact error and uh, luckily all three of them had the same exact fix. So step number one, before I work on any hash board, go ahead and wash it, clean it off. You can see this hash board's in fairly good shape, but we're gonna go ahead and take that bristle brush. And as you can see, a little alcohol bath, clean that thing right up. And that gives us a better starting point as we know there's no contaminants in there that are maybe blocking airflow or shorting across any depends on the ICs. So one of the first things we're gonna to wanna to do is we'll go ahead and check our voltages. Got a clean 12, buck controller, about 10.4. Now we're gonna go down just off here and check the boost circuit, 13.8, a little low, but it should work. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and check the voltage on our LDOs. We can do that by going to pin two, right here. Pin five is our output, we should get about 1.8. We do, on the input, we should get around 2.5, 2.4. We do. And we wanna do that across all of our LDOs down the chain. As you can see here, I've removed U84. Turns out I was measuring about one volt out on U84 and about half a volt out on U85. So immediately I went to thinking it was the LDO. But as it turns out, after replacing them, I didn't get any change at all. So after failing with the LDO, it made me think, what if I wasn't getting a good clean 14 volts and I wasn't able to source enough current running into the LDOs? So that led me to my next step, which is let's go ahead and change out to the external boost controller. So to replace the boost circuit, we're simply going to take this external boost we bought on Amazon, go ahead and wire it in to our output of our buck controller, and then we're going to remove D1 and then wire into the anode of D1. I do have a, another video of specifically how to do this, so feel free to check through all my other videos. I hope you found this video useful. Please visit ASICBasics.com. Go ahead and subscribe and follow me on YouTube and feel free to hit me up with any questions, comments, or videos or information you'd like to see.